Welcome back to Charterhouse TV and in this video we're staying on trend. People seem to be going mad for roller filter or fleece filter units in the marine and reef keeping hobby and following us recently putting out a video comparing some of the key features of our most popular fleece filter units, our customer service team have been inundated with questions regarding which fleece filter they want to purchase if they haven't already got one and really which one is going to be best for them. We also recently put out a video taking a closer look at the Red Sea Reef Mat. So we thought we would do the same for one of the units that's been around for the longest, the Claracy from D&D. So fleece filters or roller mat units, you might hear them called multiple names out there, are designed to remove organics from your aquarium water column. Now, obviously that's an age old problem. Everyone's been trying to do that for you know, as long as aquariums have been around, I guess. And normally they've been using an external filter, an internal filter, some floss within those chambers. Or if you've got a sump system, more traditionally you'd use a filter sock. And these units really are designed to remove the need to change a filter sock as regularly as you have to in most aquariums. Now, obviously this detritus in the water column breaks down and causes organic spikes and in turn, you know, phosphate and nitrate problems and all that come with that. Now, most filter units or roller units work by passing water through the body of the unit, which is normally surrounded by the fleece material that you're trying to catch that detritus and, and, and that organic matter with. As it passes through the fleece filter, it becomes more clogged. And as the water gets um, builds up in the body of the unit because it can no longer pass through that fleece wall, it sets off a float switch, which turns the motor and therefore gives you a new bit of fleece filter and starts the process again. By collecting all of the dirty roll on the top of the unit, traditionally it's on the top of the unit, it means that all of that organic matter is now out of your aquarium and hopefully not causing any of the problems of having that in the water column and stops you having to do all the manual work of cleaning out filters or changing filter socks as often as you want to. D&D make two different sizes of the Clarity unit, the SK5000 and the SK3000. As the name suggests, the 5000 has a flow rate of up to 5000 litres and the 3000 a flow rate of 3000 litres. They both have quite a small footprint, um, the smaller unit 145 by 205 and the larger unit 145 by 225. So that means because of the small footprint and the, the large flow rates that you can use them for pretty much any aquarium. Yeah, so this is the G3, so the generation three of the Clarice, um fleece filter and what that means is that D&D have had multiple years now and multiple iterations of the unit to really develop into what they now think is the perfect unit. There's been lots of changes in the G3 compared to the G2 and the G1 and all of them have just been helpful improvements to a help how efficiently it works but also make it easier to use right out of the box. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from the bottom to the top and work out some of the features and the first one I just want to touch on is that ease of use. Now some of the older models of Clarice they basically came like a flat back bit unit and there was some you know wouldn't say considerable but there was half an hour's worth of construction. This now comes pretty much built so the body is a single piece unit now and then there's just a few extras to really bolt on once you've got it out of the box. So starting from the ground up, the first thing that you'll come to is the elbow connection. And this is where the water is going to feed into the Clarice unit. Um, on this unit, you can either feed it directly from the drain of your aquarium, or if you wanted to, you could use a pump to, to put the water into the unit as well. d and have really thought about the flexibility again of this unit. So it's an elbow fitting, but it's actually a multi-fit um, elbow. So it can be 40 mil pipe. Uh, 32 mil pipe or even 25 mil pipe. So it really is, you can use it for any aquarium as we said before. On the opposite side, you've also got a flow adjuster. So um, you can um, fine tune the water level or the, the amount of water that's going through um, the Clarice fleece. So depending on how much waste you actually want this to take out or to um, to stay or remain in your aquarium, you can fine tune it with that little adapter. Yeah, that's it. And these are all improvements again that you know have been fine tuned throughout the generations. And another one of those is um, on the side panels here. And it's a panel that basically works as both a silencer and kind of a, a splash reducer. Now, obviously you've got water passing into the body of the unit and coming out through the fleeces on the side. And that sometimes can create noise. 
So d and have got these very easily quick release removal panels that stop the water simply bellowing out of the side of the unit and means that they enter at the bottom of the clarity, making sure that it's underneath the water surface, which does two things. It obviously uses, works like a silent so it keeps it quieter, but it also just reduces the amount of salt creep and, and, and dirt buildup that you might actually get on the unit itself. So moving up the unit a little more, you'll see in the center here that you've got the float switch. Now, this is the mechanism that will know when the water is backing up in the body of the unit, meaning that the fleece material itself is getting clogged up. And the water level rising will trigger this float to turn the motor and give you a clean bit of uh, roller mat section. Now that is um, matched up to the version three again of the um, Clarity controller unit. Now this has got what you'd expect. It's got a light that shows you it's operating as it should. It's got a play button that allows you to manually rotate the motor if you wanted to turn the fleece on. But really the key feature of the G3s is the alarms. Now this is both an audio and a visual alarm. And it means that if the clarity encounters a problem, maybe your roll is misaligned or you've got a blockage or a stoppage for some reason, or really importantly, if you've run out of roll, not only will the light flash on and off, but it also give you an audible alarm because obviously you're not always looking at the sump of your aquarium. You know that the fleece filter needs changing. You can go in, do what you need to do, or if it is a blockage or misalignment, you can correct that and then you can reset the alarm and it means you've just got a little bit of peace of mind that it's gonna let you know when there's a problem and means it's not gonna burn out any parts on the motor trying to do something that it's not capable of at that point in time. Another thing that D&D have really thought about is the mounting of this unit. So it can fit, as we said before, it's got a nice small footprint. So it will be able to fit in most sumps, but also it comes with some handy mounting brackets. You can actually put it against one of your baffles or on the side wall of your sump and just hang it so that it's in exactly the right position that you want it in. Yeah, just again, it just focuses on the flexibility of the generation yeah. three. And it means that you can, you know, if you're restricted with space or, or, or any fittings, then you can make sure that it works for you. So moving up through the unit, you get to the top here and one of the key features of any fleece filter unit, and that is the roll. Now, d and are stating that this roll is between 15 and 20 micron. Um, and you'll see most manufacturers out there quoting a micron, even if it's a, a generalization of what their fleece filter will take out in terms of size of detritus. But D&D have pointed out here that it's maybe not something to hang on to as much as you might expect. Now, as the water is passing through this fleece in the, uh, in the body of the unit, obviously it's getting more and more clogged up. And as that happens, the micron is changing. Another element that affects the micron size that is a, um, capable of being taken out is the flow rate through the unit. Now, the end are obviously trying to get as much flow through this unit as possible, but it will differ depending on your setup. So we, they ask you to take the 15 to 20 as a really with a pinch of salt, but actually what you really want to focus on is just how efficient these rolls are at taking that detritus out and how long they'll last you. Yeah, and talking of that, these rolls are for the 5,000 and for the 3,000 are 40 meters long. So you get a nice big roll that's gonna last you, um, depending on your aquarium, quite a long time. Um, the other great thing about these rolls is over time, they've added an element to them that makes them actually water repellent. So as the water's being pushed through the fleece, um, the detritus and organics is sticking to that, but the water itself isn't, it's being repelled. So when the roll gathers on the motor side, on the dead side, um, it's not gonna be festering, damp and watery. It's gonna be hopefully just dry organics and won't smell as bad as some of them do. You yeah. know, they can really pong. Yeah, that's exactly that. Yeah, I mean, when, when you've got this, obviously it's out of the water column and it's not causing your aquarium to any problems, but it can still sit in your cabinet yeah. and stink the place out. Now, obviously removing that is um, a, a job that you have to get dirty with. And as much as you've got this water and a hydrophobic kind of coating on it, you've still got to get the dirty roll off of the motor somehow. So again, with three generations of Clarity in production, um, D&D have worked out that something like this, which is a um, help you to remove the uh, dirty roll from the motor, um, a removal tool, means that you can literally just sit that down on the work surface and you can push the motor onto this little um, contraption that they provide here. And it means that the roll, the dirty roll comes off in one piece. Now, it's worth talking about how you change the rolls. Once you get to the stage where you've come to the end of a roll, you can literally cut the fleece, leaving it in place within the unit. And then you wanna staple or stick somehow the new fleece to the old one. 
And then you can run that through the unit. You can either let that happen naturally or you can use really what we'd recommend is using the manual roll button. And then what that means is that you can simply slide the new roll of um, the roll on and it means that you haven't got to go taking out all of the fleece that's in the body of the unit and it just means that it's as simple really as it possibly can be. There is obviously the initial investment of, in, of purchasing a Clarity or any fleece filter unit so to give you an idea of what you're looking at spending the 3000 model is about £285 and the 5000 model is about £310 they're the prices at the point of making this video now it is an expensive outlay we understand but if you add together how many filter socks you're going to save or how much fleece filter you're going to save then it might just be something that you want to invest in plus the benefits and the time that you've actually got to um, focus on your aquarium and not focus on changing some kind of material out every couple of days. So hopefully that video has helped you uh, with an overview of the Clarity SK3000 and 5000 roller filters um, and helped you to decide whether a filter roller is the way that you want to go. Remember that we've also made that video on the comparison of different roller filters and also the video on the Red Sea Reef Mat as well, which could just help you and make you decide which one you want to go for. Yeah, we'll put a link on the screen to those now so that um, you can really make a decision on which one's best for you. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. If you've got any questions, comment down below or reach out to our customer service team. We love hearing from you guys. Give us a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one. See ya.